Yo, what's up there guys? This is Immersive Gamer 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be going through a full tutorial and show you guys how to get sweet FX into your game if you are running uh, an injection driver for virtual reality. So, what you need to do initially is download a program called Radeon Pro. Oh, Radeon Pro download, there you go boom so click on it so at the top that one there and this program can actually be utilized for um, it, can, my, my, it is a little bit slow I do apologize but uh, I'm uploading a video as we speak um, this program can be utilized even if you've got an Nvidia system so what, what you need to do is just go to this little bit and click download just like that, bang and uh, I've already done that though so mine still should be in my downloads where is it Ch -ch -ch Radeon Pro there it is uh, so you click it it's got an install file it automatically does everything and then that's pretty much it once you once you've done that you need to obtain sweet effects and there's all sorts of different variants of it but you go back on there and you just go back to your Google page or whatever and then you can download spot on sweet FX download download okay sweet FX download and there you go download sweet FX setting database you can go on here and then you get to choose there's all sorts of different variants people make all all, all kinds of different ones so they can have them for different games like there's all sorts. The, the one that I actually chose was one specifically for Battlefield 3. I just really liked the colours that it gave. It really sort of warmed everything up and brightened everything up. It doesn't just do that though. It adds uh, light shafts to the game and it adds and it sharpens everything up. So, um, so some people say it's a bit like a, a poor man's EMB, but it does a lot more than that. It does a lot more sharpening and adds detail. And when you're in virtual reality with a DK2. It really, really does actually reduce the screen door effect a lot. Um, so there you go. You've got two, a couple of links up here. You can download them from there. Um, or if you want game-specific ones, you can search for that as well. So once you've downloaded that, you'll have something. Where is it? I think I've got a file in here somewhere. So um, in fact, there to do. Sorry about this. I've got a folder with mine. So I've put all of my stuff in here. Sweet effects. Make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll, this is the sort of thing you'll have. And inside the folder, you'll have that. If you weren't using virtual reality, all you'd need to do now, is, for example, to get this up and running in Bioshock Infinite, all you need to do is go to your Steam folder and then go Steam Apps, which is there, Common, and then you go on the game that you want and then you find out where all of your uh, where the actual application is once you found that folder press back and you would literally drag the lot from there drag them over and let it go but I'm not going to do that because it messes with Viario messes with it so what you need to do now is actually open up Radeon Pro there you go so this is what Radeon Pro looks like and initially you'll have a sweet effects thing but it won't have anything in it so you'll have it and you won't be able to check it either because it's, it'll all be sort of uh, it'll all, you, won't, you just won't be able to use it so what you need to do is go onto the one that says settings it's just that one there once you click on settings just uh, it's got all sorts of other stuff you can use as well but if, you, if you're an AMD user you'll get to utilize all of this stuff going from FPS counter screenshots benchmarks ambient occlusion all that good stuff but if you're in video one this is the only thing you'll be looking for sweet effects settings so you'll check that that'll be unchecked to start off with so you've got enable sweet effects integration and then you need to find the folder so basically the folder where you've got everything on here so mine is in my e drive modded game backup files sweet effects but you, yours will be wherever you want wherever you've put it so then you can go view contents folder which is just doing there 
and you can change it so you just um, you can just add it and then you just basically find the folder so mine is in computer e and then game backups in there and then I've got my sweet FX folder so bang once I've done that press OK it fills up on there and then you've got your hotkey so just highlight that and press the hotkey that you want to do it so mine I've got multiply button but if you wanted to you could have a number numpad 9 you could have whatever I'm, I'm going to stick mine with multiply because I don't really do the calculations on my uh, on my gaming rig once you've done that just press save bang so now you're back to this one and you can see you've got sweet effects over here and that now you can choose which ones you want so the you can have Luma Sharpen, which is what sharpens everything up to make it look more sort of crisp. The Bloom adds a lot more sort of God rays to the game. And you've got your HDR, I'll highlight that one as well. That's, that helps, makes things look, look a lot more sort of crisp. And then you've got Lift, uh, Gamma Gain, Vibrance, and Curves. Vibrance, you'll see in a minute what it does to the game. I've done a little bit of a recording just uh just just to show you guys the difference between it but all I'll say right now is if you've got a DK2 it really really does help reduce any kind of screen door effect and it doesn't really impact your system very much so thing is once it's open now you need to open this one first okay so once you've opened that one first you need to keep this open so it's quite a big window you can't really minimize it either very much so what I tend to do is just drag it down here out of the way and it just lives down there happily and then once you've done that you can start your vorpex so um, but before you do that actually sorry before you do before you start your vorpex you need to make sure your shit's already set up so click on your oculus utility make sure it's set to extended mode like that bang that that'll make sure that everything's in extended mode and then so now you've got your other monitor going on still recording yep yeah and so we'll drag this back down the bottom and now you can start up Vorpex that's fine yes but see Vorpex is in there now down here in the bottom it's working but because you've got Radeon Pro open you won't be able to change any of the files in, in here so although you can see it is working if I click on it it doesn't really work very well but you can't really do a lot so, and a lot of the time it will crash but that seems to have loaded up okay but yeah so if you just close out of that that's fine then you go into your steam and literally you start the game and it will load up bang and that is literally it once you've done it you'll have your hotkeys so you, you've got your hotkey whatever you set it to that's almost like your on and off button for it and you'll see you'll see an example of me in a moment in game actually showing you the difference between on and off all right so uh yeah we'll be going through that in just a moment please so uh, i know that you've you got well most of you guys have, would have already seen uh, my first impressions of bioshock infinite with vorpex but now i just wanted to talk about sweet effects and this was just like the easiest in fact i'll just pause it a second this was just like the easiest game I could show you because I run it in a borderless window um, and this game actually, well, Sweet Effects is quite difficult to capture. I mean, you can run it in a full screen, but you can't really record it. So this is just a, a way I'm able to show you. I mean, it's quite a, quite a beautiful game to be honest anyway, but this is, just a, this is just a way of me showing you what Sweet Effects can actually do to your game. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't impact the system anywhere near like an EMB would so so it's a bit some people call it like a, a poor man's EMB I think it's a lot more than that I think it actually adds to it as well the the current setup that I'm running for it is uh, the battlefield free variant so it's almost like over bloom do you know what I mean but I quite like it man bloom I'm a bit of a, I'm a, bit of a like a bloom like sunray kind of fiend to be honest I love that shit it makes me think like I just love that shit anyway so without further ado let's get back to the game and I'll show you sort of a little bit about what it's saying I mean in fact even in this menu screen I mean because I've got it toggled to a key you can kind of see that the menu screens like actually sharpen up I'm, it's on now it's off it's on now it's off you will you would have seen like a, a slight color change there 
but look, you can kind of see like the details, and like now, look at look at the faces. Look at the faces of like, for example, that geezer over there. Hang on, let me just go and get the key again. All right. So them geezers there, look. You kind of see it's a little bit, a bit, bit more sharp. The edges and stuff just seems a lot more sort of like stand out you know so let's have a quick I'm not gonna sort of take too long I'm gonna sort of like just uh, you can kind of see it look even though it looks really good there boom detail you know what I mean so we'll leave it on for a bit okay so we're back in the town center and we can see the big statue over there the flying stuff it looks really nice still and this is like in standard mode but if you just have a quick look at this now I mean to be honest it just um, you can get more standard versions because it does really warm and warm everything up a little bit so let's have a quick look just look at the writing and stuff on the buildings bang everything's like a lot more warm like the shadows look nicer the detail even look at the detail in in, in the in the uh, cobbles they just all of a sudden pop out and uh, I've got quite a warm version you know it does make everything look feel a lot more warm but you can actually uh, just get one that kind of cools it all down I mean this feels crazy but then again I am kind of like a bloom a bloom fiend you know Same with this as well, I mean, all the edges and stuff just seem a lot, lot, lot more pop out, you know, like, I don't know, it's just not, not really any of these soft, and the detail just sort of comes, comes out. It's on now, and then it's off. It See your face. With the walls over there, look. So yeah, I mean, for minimal impact on your system, you do get a hell of a lot out of it. And there's all sorts of variants for different games, and some of them have got different sort of bloom effects, some of them have got different, all sorts of different stuff going on. But if you've got a DK2, it certainly does help remove a lot of the screen door. It's, it's fantastic, especially if you go in your options, hang on, if you go in your options, and you can like, uh, go to like your brightness and that. Let's have a look. So graphics, you can turn like you turn your brightness right down. Um, I just find it, find it really, really helps. Where is it? Oh, I think I think I've already done mine anyway. But but yeah. So if you turn turn your brightness all the way down and uh, apply some sweet effects, and you'll notice. I mean, it probably isn't displaying the true sort of representation of what I'm seeing, but I'm hoping that you are getting some sort of some sort of uh, you can see some sort of difference I mean there's it's off again now and then it's back on I mean even in the leaves over there look it's not just a case of like the colors fade you know Columbia raffle and fair you can get a lot more less intrusive ones as well that sort of do less to the, to the bloom of the game but I, I, I happen to like it to be honest so uh, yeah this is a good way of getting sweet effects into the game whilst able to actually use your, your uh, injection drivers for virtual reality anyway so I hope you enjoyed that guys and thank you very much for watching